Okay, so when it comes to ranking inside of Google, then one of the most difficult and tiresome tasks that we can perform is creating backlinks. We need to find authority backlinks that we can create for our websites. And one of the most influential ranking factors by Google are backlinks. So we can't skip creating backlinks. But if we create backlinks and those backlinks are not being found by Google, it means that our time and our effort has gone to waste and that backlink is going to have zero value. And these are the kind of issues that I was actually faced with personally when I was creating authority backlinks using authority content, Google just wasn't finding them and it was causing me a massive problem because all of the hard work that I was doing was going to waste. So this is how we came up with the authority indexer. The authority indexer is designed to do one thing and that is to get your links indexed and send authority to them. And it does this using multiple scripts. I'm going to be taking you around the software now just to give you a better understanding of exactly how powerful this is and how it works. So the very first script is probably one of the most powerful scripts. It allows you to get almost any URL indexed inside of Google. And the way this works is if you already work with the Google Search Console, then you know that you can only add URLs to the Google Search Console that you control and that you have authorized and verified ownership of. Some t the techniques inside of Authority Indexer allow you to ping any URL even if you don't own that URL to Google Search Console and send the crawlers to go and index those URLs. It's probably one of the easiest ways to get your links indexed um, using the authority indexer. And I don't think there's any other tool out there that allows you to work in this manner. Okay, and it works absolutely beautiful, guys. Okay, now let me take you over to the authority indexer tab. The authority indexer tab is for creating links to your links. These are authority links and all the content and everything else is made for you. So it works with three cloud platforms and these are cloud pl platforms that Google love and these are cloud platforms that are authority platforms which will mean it's going to send even more authority and juice up your links. It works with Amazon S3, it works with Google Cloud, it works with Microsoft Azure. You can add your own custom URLs in here as well if you want. In fact in the video trainings we show you how to make use of expired um, URLs and websites that you can work on here that already have authority. You don't need to, but you can. And you can also work with Twitter and Blogger. And then you have the option of pinging any one of these websites after we've gone and created content on them and added our links to them to the Google Search Console. Okay, so what I'll do here is, as you can see, I've actually completed a run just now. Um, and what I'll do, I'll actually go ahead and create another one um, so that you can see exactly how this works. It's very, very intuitive. It's a robust piece of software. And what it's doing now is actually scratching scraping the search engines for our keyword. And it's gonna go ahead and then scrape the URLs from the search engine. It's gonna go and visit those URLs and it's gonna go and scrape all of the content from those URLs. The software is then going to slice and dice and mix and match content and paragraphs to create our own optimized content, which is absolutely perfect for Google and indexing. And our links, anytime you want to go and add links, our links are added here and our links are all then our links are then sent to those cloud platform sites on the articles. Okay, so while this is being created, what I'll actually do is go through the other ones that, we, that I actually just created just a moment ago. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll actually go over to the blogger post. Okay, so this is a blogger post here. Okay, and this blogger post was created just now by the software on July the 15th. Today is July the 15th as well. And what you can see down here is we have three links on here. Okay, and these three links are actually pointing to our cloud platforms. So let me just show you this in what I mean. So we, we are told blogger to add the links for Azure, Google Cloud, and Amazon S3 for the newly created posts that we've actually made. So as you can see, it's creating posts now, it's syncing the data, um, because the way it works is it actually creates fully fledged websites for you. All of this content, this post, this image, and um, this video are all added by the software. Everything's done for you and created for you. So let me go over to this first link. This first link takes us over to a website. As you can see, I haven't optimized this website. I've just been using this website for tests but we are adding content to these websites we're adding images to these websites we're adding videos to these websites and we're also adding our links to these websites as well okay so our links get sent and put onto these 
um, get put onto these um, websites and then we go ahead and ping Google, which means we're sending the crawlers to the website and the posts that we create that have our links on there. Okay, um, let me just take you over to another website as well. So here's another one by clicking on SEO. You can see we have a video on this one this time. Um, and this is really nice content that Google absolutely loves to index, guys. And it's been working wonders for me and my team and also for our users that are working with this as well. And on your content, on these posts, you're gonna be having Having, um, all of your links added on here. Um, one thing that I should mention about these websites that the software creates as well is that we have sitemaps for these as well. So we've got sitemap.xml. So you've got an XML, oops, I've got a wrong one there. Okay, we've got a sitemap.html. And I also have a feed on this as well. Let me just make sure I'm still recording. Yep. Okay, so this is how the software creates those websites. As you can see, it's completed in one minute and 45 seconds. Okay, so with the authority indexer tab, you're gonna be able to create cloud sites on or the software will create cloud sites on multiple platforms that Google loves. Your, your content will, content would then automatically be created for you and then your links will be added to that content and sent over to the cloud sites and we can also ping Google. Okay, um, and just to let you know, we actually have another update that we're actually working on. This update allows you to add your own content. So here's an image. I just wanted to show you a quick image to let you know how it's gonna be looking. You're gonna be able to add your own articles. You're gonna be able to add your own images and your own videos, or you're gonna be able to use the software uh, to go and do everything for you. So this is really, really cool because it gives you all of the abilities um, to fill up these websites with with optimized content and add your links to them okay you've got a bunch of other things you can do as well such as you can manage your sites you can go into the site's data um, and you can actually add your personalized details on here you can control how much content gets sent to your rss feeds and you can even add banners and other things to your websites as well okay you've got a dashboard and the dashboard allows you to go ahead and strip links so let's just say your links have already been indexed now and you want to go ahead and strip them should you want to then you can go ahead and strip those links. You can actually remove posts as well if you want to remove posts as well. Um, and then you have the crowd indexer. The crowd indexer is absolutely wonderful. The way this works is very similar to the URL pinger. The URL pinger will allow you to ping Google Search Console using your own Google Search Console account. But the crowd indexer allows you to create projects. And when you create projects, these projects will then get sent will then get sent over to other members in the system and then you're gonna be able to pull projects and you're gonna be able to post those projects. What this means is that your links that you add to the Crowd Indexer will be submitted to other people's Google Search Console's account using you know, unique um, Google Search Console's accounts and in different areas as well. This is absolutely wonderful and it works absolutely brilliant as well. The software also works with multiple URL shorteners. It works with these so that when you go ahead and work with the Crowd Indexer, then you can also go ahead and shorten your URLs or all the links that you want to get indexed before you post them onto the multiple cloud platforms. You can work with this if you want to or you don't have to if you don't want to. And it also works with its own custom URL URL shortener as well. And you also have a way to go out there and check all of your links to see if they're actually indexed inside of Google. If they're indexed inside of Google, then you'll also get a cache date and it will tell you when the links were actually indexed. So this is what we came up with guys to solve the issues that we were faced with when our links were not being found by Google. And now with the authority indexer, um, it's made it super simple and super easy for our links to get found. And it makes sure all of our hard work that we have done to create these links and find those links actually gets counted.